Hello, Filomena, do you listen to me? Hello, teacher. Ah, okay, Hello. great. So we are testing the sound and it is okay, yes? Estamos bien con el sonido, ¿verdad? How yes. Was day? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día hoy? I am busy working. Okay. I was very busy working. Working very hard. Yes. Mm -hmm. But today is Thursday. Tomorrow, Friday. You don't work on Saturday. Or yes, you do. You work on Saturday. Yes. But only in yes. the morning. But only in the morning. In, uh, no. In the afternoon. Saturday morning, you don't work. Sábado por la mañana, no trabaja. No, va otro compañero. Ah, only in the afternoon. Ah, okay, great. But mm -hmm. you take uh, off the holidays. Pero los días uh, feriados no los, no los trabaja. Sí, for, traba. ex for example, next por... Wednesday... Uh, it, I think it is, yeah, next Wednesday, it's a day off. It is a holiday, November the 2nd. Are you going to work on November the 2nd, Philomen? Yes. Oh, really? Working. Yeah. Okay. And what about you, Jonathan? Are you working um, on, are, are you working on November the 2nd? Um, yo creo que no. <laughs> okay. And how was your day? Sorry, excuse me. How was your day at work? How was your day at work? ¿Cómo estuvo el día en el trabajo? Todavía sigo haciendo una, una que otra cosita. Okay. Incluso iba, iba a comentar ahí que si me uh -huh. damos un minuto voy a estar de oyente. Oh, really? You're still at work? Sí, sí, todavía. Uh -huh. Una cosa pendiente. Uh, yeah, because many people call for support. For tech support. No, no. No, 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 no. Other sí, things, sí. other runs. Sí, bueno. Otras situaciones. Okay. But thank you for joining on time, Jonathan and Filomena. Uh, well, we're going to get started because, you know, maybe they are having problems with the... And with the platform, because it is uh, one minute ahead, 8.01, and only two students, it's kind of rare. Okay, I'm going to share my screen with you, class. And here we go. Okay. So, um, today is... October 27th, right? Today is October 27th, 2022. And here we go. Today is our video conference number 18. In other words, there are only two remaining classes. Yeah? Solo nos quedan dos clases más para finalizar el nivel. And uh, it would be tomorrow, Friday, and on Monday, 31st, right? In our agenda, we have as activity number one, greetings. Welcome, Carlos. Thank you for joining. And William Francisco, thank you for joining too. I am glad that all of you are here and waiting for the others. We're going to have a short feedback, okay, on what we did yesterday in class. One of you is going to help me reading the objectives as every day that we have meeting, meeting together. Today, you're going to be making requests and you will be making polite and formal requests. To make polite and formal request is the task, the main activity for today. And here at the end, the wrapping up of the class. 
the objectives are here for one of you to help me reading. One volunteer to help me reading the, the objectives. Hello, one volunteer. It can be a he or a she. Boys or girls, only one command. You have to practice reading. Don't be shy. Okay, teacher. Thank okay. you, Philomena. I appreciate practice reading. Okay, go ahead. Okay. A specific objective. Participant will be able to make Request. 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 Class objective participant will be able to make call for calling and formal requests. Okay, to make good for polite and formal requests. Okay, when I say could you help me reading the objectives? It is a polite request, okay? Could you help me reading the objectives? And then you are very nice and you say, me teacher. Or Carlos usually also tell me, me teacher, okay? So here again, a reminder, I know that almost all the ones who are right now in class are done with the everyday homeworks in the platform. And even you have submitted, most of you, the final test, but there are still some of you who are owing me, okay? Just a few lessons and the final test. Again, a reminder for your full name, okay, on the camera. And the camera must be activated all along the Video conference, minimize, okay, or turn off the microphone unless it is requested not to do so. Very active participation in the main session room and in the breakout rooms. Again, about attendance, it is taken twice. It is required 100%. And I read that, well, probably it is not your case, but for some people it is necessary to be today, tomorrow, and on Monday in class because at the end everybody wants the diploma. But remember, there are two things, yeah? The academic part and also the administrative part. And the attendance is part of the administrative part of this course. So you need to be in class because it is part of your commitment. And at the end, one of you is going to stay with me for the one-on-one -on -one session. Said so that, again, a reminder about the uh, microphone off, camera on, the chat available in Zoom, and in WhatsApp, the breakout rooms, the ask button is available for you to ask for help. And we're going to be respecting as we have been doing every day that we've been meeting here. We are in week number four. I told you that by Monday, October 31st, all your activities must be done, okay? And here we go with the feedback, right? Mike and Maria, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mrs. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. I'll be there right away, okay? I need to volunteers to practice this conversation, please. As a feedback, 
let me see how many students do I have so far. So if there is no volunteer, Clelia, hello Clelia, are you available with your microphone? Miss Clelia. Hello. Hello, okay, you're going to read. And Jose Mario, are you available? With the microphone, Jose Mario. Yes, okay. Jose Mario and Clelia, you're going to read this conversation, okay? For the class as a feedback. Uh, Jose Mario, you are going to impersonate Mike and Clelia, you're going to read Maria. Uh, good evening, Maya Hernandez, uh, bueno, Jose Mario, IT department. Hello, my, hello, Jose. This is, um, this is Clelia Ochoa, Clelia Flores. From accounting, I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss <laughs> Clelia? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a trans noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, yes, it's a service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like to come soon to check it. I see. I will be there right away. Finish. Really, thank you so much. Great, very well. Okay, so you were working with this conversation, if you will remember, and you were also paraphrasing it as they did because you replaced your names, okay? You forgot about Mike and Maria and you use your real names. And this is what we did, okay? So as part of the feedback, hello, Nelton. Ivania, welcome. Okay, class, let me see, no, 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 where is it? Where is the book? Oh, over here, okay. And here we go. Now, class, we're going to work at page 43. And here, we're going to reinforce what we were studying yesterday, how to use would like to. Use would like to, to say what you want especially when making offers and requests. Singular and plural. She would like to send the reports today. He'd like to meet the new employees tonight. But for plural, they would like to speak to a supervisor. We'd like to ship this container tomorrow. Notice what I told you yesterday. When we use would, no matter if it is third person singular, there is no change in the verb. The expression is would like to. And here, he'd like to is the contracted form. The same happens for the plural. They would like to speak. We'd like to ship. There is no change in the verb because we have a modal auxiliary, yeah? And what are you going to do right now, class? Well, it is your turn. I need you to use your imagination. Imagine a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken. It is not working. You have to write from four to five requests about it, okay? What kind of request are you going to write? For example, how would you report a problem? Okay, I would like to report a problem with my, for example, because something is broken, so it must be a, a piece of equipment with my printer, for example. This is one way that I am reporting. Now here on the second one, you are going to use your imagination because I am reporting the problem with my printer. 
And here you're going to write one, two, three, four different ways how to report or request something, okay? A service from your IT department. I would like to report a problem with my printer, okay? Now you know different ways to report, okay? I would like you to come as soon as possible in order to fix my printer because I have documents to print and they are urgent. That could be one and some others, but using would like to or we would like you to, okay? Is it clear? Hello, are the instructions clear about the activity? Did I explain the, the, the activity? Yes or no? Hello, Good am evening, I here? Teacher. Good evening, do you listen to me? Or am I out of Zoom? O estoy fuera de Zoom? No, no, está dentro. Es teacher, okay. voy, voy entrando ahorita. Okay. Solo puede repetir una vez para, para entender bien. Okay, over here. Over here, we are working at page 43 and we are still in the feedback, okay, on how to use would like to. And here you have some examples for singular in third person singular. She would like to send the reports today. He'd like to meet the new employees tonight. The full form and the short form. For plural, keeps the same structure. They would like to speak to a supervisor. We'd like to ship this container tomorrow. Full form and contracted form. But in exercise number four, the manual is asking you to imagine that a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken. In other words, it's not working. So you have to write from four to five requests about it. And I wrote an example. I would like to report a problem with my printer because my piece of equipment that is broken is my printer. But you need to think about another piece of equipment that is broken at your workplace. And you write here for requests, yeah? For the IT department. Yes? Okay. Okay, four different ways to report a problem, in other words, but being polite, pero siendo corteses, amigables, yes? Okay, okay teacher, yes. Okay. So that's why I was asking, are the instructions clear? Yes, they are, or oh, no, they aren't. And here, um, I'm going to transfer you to the different uh, breakout rooms so you can uh, have a variety of ideas, yes? And welcome, Serafina, Ana Veronica, Marlene, Oneida, welcome, Dani, welcome. Uh, who else? Brandon, welcome, because the other ones I already said welcome. Good evening. Okay, so right now we're going to move to the breakout room later on. When we come back, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? So here we go. And later you're going to share in front of the class. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Go to your breakout rooms and let's work on the activity. I'm sending the invitation at this moment. Okay, the invitation has been sent. Join your groups, please, if you are nice. Join your groups and practice. Nilton, I need you in group number two, thank you. Brandon. Brandon, I need you in group number three. Brandon, group number three. And Ana Marlene. I'm going to um, Brandon, go to group number three. And Marlene, okay, let me see. Marlene, go to group number 
number three, okay? okay? I'm going to send you the invitation. Go to group number three. Brandon, do you listen to me? Hello, Brandon. Brandon, I need you in group number three, please. And Marlene too, okay, bye. Hello, class. Is there somebody here? Yeah. Uh, okay, Marlene, are you at work? Marlene and Veronica are at work. And William Francisco is here. Okay, let's try to work with the activity. Brandon, I think, is having problems with the connectivity, and he is going to be part of this group, okay? Yes, but you have to report a problem, okay? In a, li in a nice way. Okay, William is here with you and Ana Marlene, okay? Pero okay. okay, see you. Hello class, do you have any question? Any doubt about the exercise? Is someone in this virtual space? Hay alguien en este espacio virtual? Hello. Hello, enjoy your dinner, but please be nice and answer to me. Are you working class? Eh, solo este estoy ordenando algo aquí ya en un momento me entro de lleno que, que tengo un poquito ocupado yo aquí. Eh. Okay, okay, eh, thank casa. you. Okay, thank you. So Filomena and Clelia. Clelia, are you available? Hello. Okay. Yes, teacher. Try to organize the sentences with Filomena, okay? While the okay. boys uh, join to uh, in a hundred percent to the activity. Okay, see you. See you. Okay. Would like to repair, repair to the scanner. The scanner. Mm -hmm. Okay, but listen, hello, hello, listen. When you say Serafin would like to repair the scanner, ahí usted está diciendo que a Serafin le gustaría reparar el scanner. O le está diciendo Serafin podrías o me gustaría que repararas el escáner. Faltaría no. yo. Entonces no, sería, Serafín, would you like to repair the scanner? 
you el, like la hace falta. El, el, would you el, el, like el, to uh -huh, después de like, would. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Would you like to repair the scanner and a question mark? Yeah. Would you like to repair the scanner? Point. No point. <laughs> no point. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, please. Que estoy dando el ingreso a alguien. No, because if you have a, a question mark, you don't need a, a full stop. No necesita punto final. Porque el punto okay. final es el question okay. mark. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Copiado. Entonces, cuando, cuando, ya que se utilizó el nombre, se tiene que utilizar el you. El would you like to repair? Yes. Uh -huh. That's mm -hmm. it. Ok. Teacher, entonces, en caso de que usemos un pronombre como she, he, they, uh -huh. no se utiliza. Bueno, en este caso, si utilizamos el he, porque estamos hablando de él. Pero es que acá usted, es que esa es la situación. Usted lo está haciendo de forma directa. Uh -huh. Usted le está pidiendo a alguien que le ayude a reparar algo. Por eso usa el nombre. Pero si usted dice, fíjese, por ejemplo, hello. Sí, por ejemplo, Edwin, he, he would like, he would like to, he would like to repair the computer. A él le gustaría reparar. ¿Verdad? Él se está ofreciendo amablemente a reparar la computadora. He would like to repair, ¿sí? Pero en este caso estamos pidiendo. Uh -huh. O por ejemplo, usted diría, I would like him, I would like him to repair the scanner. Me gustaría que él reparara el escáner. Pero ahí es donde yo les decía los pronombres objetivos, ¿se recuerdan? I would like him. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. For, for, for example, he would like to report a problem with the internet connection. Sí, pero lo que sucede es que ustedes lo están tomando de otro punto de vista. Lo que acá les están pidiendo es que ustedes soliciten el servicio. No que digan ah, okay. quién lo va a hacer. No que describan Entonces, quién like. lo va a hacer. I would like, uh -huh. I would like to report to report a problem with the internet connection. Yes, pero como acá es, es fíjese bien la instrucción. Imagine a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken. Parte del equipo o algún elemento del equipo en su lugar de trabajo no está trabajando, no está funcionando. Entonces, por eso llama usted a Tech Support. Tech Support. Ajá. Ok, entonces, en lugar de connection sería report a problem with the keyword. Yeah, it could be, or with the connectivity, internet connectivity, pero solo tienen que seleccionar un problema y ese problema lo van a reportar de cuatro maneras diferentes. Okay. Oh. Ahora comprendemos. Sí. Pero ustedes no, ustedes estaban haciendo oraciones como describiendo lo que alguien más iba a hacer. Sí. Cuando okay. usted decía, Serafín would like to repair the scanner. Seraf a Serafín le gustaría reparar el escáner, pero como no puede, no es su función, tiene que pedir auxilio al tech support. Sí, y cómo lo reporta él. I would like to report uh, a problem with the scanner, okay? Okay, teacher. Or um, my scanner seems to be broken. Yeah? Or the scanner is not working. Diferentes formas de reportar un problema, así como lo estábamos viendo en las estructuras anteriores, en las clases anteriores.
Tenemos acá, Serafín would like to repair okay. the scanner. I would like to report a problem with the scanner. Acá, with the scanner, y ya queda bien, es otra forma de reportarlo. I would like to report the problem with the scanner. With the scanner. With the scanner. Uh -huh. uh -uh. With. Yo lo cambié. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No. Relax, my friend. Wait. Wait. Spell me, e spell me. Why is Connor? I'm for I, I'm for I, I would like I'm not here. Explain. I better go away because you're getting nervous because Slowly. of the pressure. Bye. Okay. But you got it, right? It's right. Good. Okay. Bye. Thank See you, teacher. My pleasure. <laughs> And over here, are you done with the four different ways to report a problem? The same problem, but in four different ways. Reportar un problema, pero en cuatro maneras diferentes. De expresar lo mismo. Clelia, Carmen, Filomena, no. Not yet. Aún no. Aún no. Okay, not yet. But remember that the problem must be with a piece of equipment that is broken at your workplace. Okay, you see the instruction over here? Imagine a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken. Write from four to five requests about it. Parte del equipo con el que trabajas, uno de esos equipos está dañado. Entonces vamos a escribir cuatro o cinco formas diferentes de reportar ese problema y solicitar ayuda. For example, I told you, I would like to report a problem with my printer. Another one, I would like you to fix my printer. Me gustaría que repararas mi impresora. Ahí ya van dos formas diferentes de reportar lo mismo. ¿Ok? Sí. And that's it. Okay, see you. Let me check. I would like to print the There is one problem. Es un solo problema con un, con, con, con parte del equipo. Y ustedes tienen que escribir diferentes maneras de pedir ayuda para resolver esa situación. I would like to be able to scan the documents. Porque escanear es diferente a imprimir. I would like to connect the printer to the PC. I would like to have ink in the in the sharpen in the sharpen the printer. In the sharpen of the printer. Es como refilar, eh, ajá, volverle ajá. a echar tinta al impresor. Ajá. I would like to sharpen the printer. Pero miren, entonces, ah, es que acá todo está relacionado a la impresora porque ustedes no tienen escáner, sino que ustedes escanean en la impresora. Exacto, sí. Ah, ok. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it. That is what I was requesting from you. To choose only one problem and then 
each report in different ways, yeah, but in a polite way, in a very nice way. So the partners at work are going to tell you, okay, I'm going to help you. Okay, wait a minute. I'll be right there helping you and so on. That's it. Excellent. And who is going to read the sentences in front of the class in the main session room? Is it Dani, Marlene, Juan Ezequiel, or Ivania? Who is going to read? Mm. Nobody. Okay, <laughs> it can be a boy or a girl. There is no problem at all. No problem. Okay, you make the decision. I'm gonna give you one minute to make the, the big decision. Okay. <laughs> Don't be shy. Remember, very soon you are going to be in level three. So you need to practice speaking and you need to practice reading. Bye. Okay. La teacher que está todavía, entonces por eso no estoy participando. Ah, hello. Okay. okay, one minute left. In a minute, we return, okay, to the main session room to share with the class. Okay. Ready? Yes, we are ready. No, teacher. Mm, not yet. No, no. Why not? And, bueno, yo llegando vengo, teacher, y uh -huh. más o menos ahí. Ok. Estoy, apenas uh -huh. estoy haciendo la primera. Ok, and what about Ana Verónica and Marlene? And William? Aquí tengo construida unas oraciones, teacher. Ok, would you like to read your sentences for me, please? I would like to report. My computer has a virus installed in it. Mi computadora tiene instalado un okay. virus. Okay, a virus. A virus, virus, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to report and my computer car guard is making me a fake computer. Mm -hmm. I would like to report my printer jumps paper. Mm -hmm. And would like to report the alarm in disabled. Okay, very good. The only thing is that you need to choose only one piece of equipment mm -hmm. and report the different uh, ways the same problem. Okay, thank you. One minute and then we get back, okay, to the main session room to share with the class. Okay, so here. Mm -hmm. Okay. In a minute, we get back. The report. Report. No, no. Bad de malo. A. Espacio. Bad. Bad. Con de. Eso. Connection. With Yo no logro, scanner. No, y no, lo vi, no logro ver lo que ustedes están compartiendo en la pantalla. With scanner, espacio. De verdad. Mm. Y si lo estás en el celular. Sí. Bueno, pero que de mí ya es, ya es problema de que. que y, si lo, pero mi, sí. y si Mira. mueves la pestaña hacia un lado, la, la ah, pantalla. No, no solo ah, miro, pestañas. Solo miro ustedes nada más. Ah, pues sí, sí. eso es lo que dice Mario. Con, con el dedo mover toda, toda la pantalla hacia un lado. Y ahí le van a aparecer las diferentes pestañas. ¿Hola? Ahí le van a aparecer las diferentes pestañas donde puede ver la imagen de lo compartido. Pero ya no lo verás a nosotros. <risa> ok. Para Mario, le falta ahí la, la chi en, en mayúscula. Capitalera. Quitarle, quitarle el espacio con el apóstrofe de Wolf. De Wolf. Y el punto final. Full stop. Full stop. ¿Cómo es, teacher? Full stop. Full stop. Uh -huh. Full, full. Ah, full, full stop. stop. Or uh, a sign, eh, a part. Oh, teacher, 
¿Y cómo se pronuncia esta contracción? Perdón ahí. Which one? Okay, hold it because Brandon was. Which one? She'd like to. She'd like to. I'd like to. You'd like so, to. He'd like to. Sure. We, uh, no, she no. She'd, uh, she'd like to. She'd like she'd, to. She'd, she'd like okay. to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, like now to. I think you are ready, boys. Yeah. Teacher, puede revisar a ver si, si estamos yeah. bien con esta oración. I would like to report problem a problem with the scanner. I would like to report a problem with the scanner. I would like to report the scanner doesn't turn on. I would like to configure. Um, I would like to have my scanner configured. I would like to have my scanner configured. Okay. I would like to have my scanner configured. Uh, I should like to report a bad connection with the scanner, with the scanner. With the, okay. with the scanner, yeah. And that's it. And full stop at the end, always, okay? Okay, boys, who's going to be the speaker, the representative of the group in the main session room, who's going to read the sentences, in other words, for the class? Serafin. Serafin. <laughs> No. Pero a fin would like to read the sentences for the class. Otro paso yo. Oh, no, oh yes, of course. No. Oh, no. Nelton. Oh, Por acclamation. Okay. okay. Aquí tenemos Ay. las clases grabadas, Serafín. Yes, yes, as an no, evidence. Pero, pero nosotros grupos no iban conmigo ustedes. Oh. He's the okay. victim. Sí, te vamos true. a repasar la pronunciación entonces. Let's return. It's time to return. <laughs> Come on. It's a feedback. Okay, Juan, you're telling me present teacher. Okay, listen, guys. I don't know what happened today, but some of you arrived a little late to the class. And there was a reminder from the administration in the WhatsApp that some of you need to be here full time today, tomorrow, and on Monday, because at the end, everybody wants and claims the diploma, but there are two things, okay? The attendance, the percentage of attendance, and also the work on the platform, your performance. Miren, in Safor, revisa las asistencias que a diario, y se hace un match en al final, ¿verdad? Por eso es que no es inmediato el diploma, ¿sí? Porque lo académico y lo administrativo van a la par. En ese sentido, es que les hacían el llamado para que estén presentes en la clase. Ok, so here, but today, only two students at the beginning, oh my God. Uh, that's why I decided to take the first attendance a little bit later. Ana Marlene. Marlene. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you. Ana Veronica. Present. 
Thank you, Miss. Brandon. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Carlos Miguel. Carlos. Present. Okay, Carlos, thank you. Carmen. Carmen, I saw you. Carmen. Lost the connectivity, Carmen. ¿Qué pasó, mi amor? Clelia, Clelia, hello Clelia, ok Clelia, mire el platito yo lo pongo allá, Dani, José Mario, smiley, ok, ahí se Clelia, hold it, hold it, I didn't call your name yet, Okay, I was saying, Danny, are you here? Present. Daniel, thank you, Danny. David Emanuel. Present, teacher. Great. Edwin Roberto, I saw you. Okay, you're here. Ivania, I saw you, okay. Ivania. Jenny, Caroline, she is in the hospital. Jonathan. Here I am. Great. Jose Dimas, I saw you. Present teacher. Jose Manuel, not yet. Present teacher. Okay, here. Thank you. Great. Jose Mario. Present teacher. Great. Marlene Oneida. Present teacher. Nilton. Nilton, I saw present, you. Present, present. Juan, Juan Ezequiel. Present teacher. Okay, I'm saying your name because uh, it is in the list, but you wrote in the chat present teacher, okay, before. That's why I took it. Serafín. Serafín, are you here? Queda bien. Queda bien. Okay, thank you, thank you, Serafín. William, William Francisco. Present. Great, Filomena. Present teacher. Blanqui, I didn't see Blanqui today. Okay, she's not available at the moment. Alejandra, Michelle, not yet. And Noah is absent. Okay, class. Now we are all ears in order to listen to your requests, okay? How to record a problem when a piece of equipment is broken at your workplace. Volunteers? Only one. In group number one, we have the following people, Brandon, Carlos, Clelia, Filomena, and Jonathan. Who's going to read the sentences? I don't know if I am in, in, in class because I don't listen. Do you listen somebody saying me, teacher? Or did I lose the connectivity? Oh my God, I'm going to return. I'm going to leave and I'm going to return because nobody answers to me. So it means that I am out of the class. Estoy fuera de la clase porque nadie me contesta. Se están desapareciendo mis estudiantes. Oh my God, oh my God. What about team number two? David Emanuel, Edwin Roberto, Jose Mario, Nilton, and Serafín. Who's going to read? Who is the lucky one? ¿Quién es el dichoso afortunado? Serafín. <laughs> yeah, Serafín. Or David. Who is the lucky one? I think. Hey. Okay, David. Okay. Uh, he's, he's a gentleman. Vaya, do, dos serafín y dos yo, vaya. No, no, no le di captura de pantalla de ahí, el tiempo es oro. Oh, oh, oh. <risa> Carmen, welcome, okay. Carmen, welcome. No nos deja la temblorina, teacher. Ok, teacher, este... Ok. Uh, I would like to report a problem with the scanner. 
I would like to report the scanner doesn't turn on. I would like to have uh, my scanner configured. He'd like to report a bad connection with the scanner. Only. Very well done, excellent, great. Now let's listen to the next team. Uh, Ana Marlene Dimas and William Francisco. Dimas, hello. Hello, teacher. Um, con un poco de temblorina, pero no. <laughs> I will. I would like to report a problem with my printer. Eh, yo entendí así. Eh, luego, paper stuck in my printer. It does not turn on. It no connection with my computer. Thank you very well. Great for sharing. And then we have Dani, Ivania, Juan Ezequiel, and Marlene. Who's going to read the sentences for the class? Me, teacher. Thank you. I would like to print the statements today. I would like to be able to scan the document. I would like to connect the printer to the PC. I would like to have him to sharpen the printer. Excellent, great. Now class, I have a question for everybody, okay? And I'm going to write it here and all of you can give me an answer. No problem. We have these two words that maybe you know or you remember. Can and could. Do you know these two words? Conocen esas palabras, las han escuchado, visto alguna vez en su vida. Can del verbo poder, teacher. Mm -hmm. Y pudo en pasado, no sé, no recuerdo bien. That's correct. Can is in present, could is in past. But we also use can and could in order to ask for requests. También utilizamos can y could para hacer solicitudes o pedidos, para pedir algo de forma amable, pero could es más amable que can. Could está casi Como al nivel formal. de would, Ajá, pero más cortés, más amable, más suave. Entonces, could está a la altura de would. ¿Ok? If I say, could you do me a favor. Podrías hacerme un favor? Could you do me a favor? Okay. Could you turn off your microphone? Ya. De una forma amable o cortés, con could estamos haciendo una solicitud, un pedido, ¿sí? Hemos estado trabajando con would. Would you like to? ¿Te gustaría? Would you like to turn off your microphone? También se puede decir, pero acá es could, podrías, ¿ya? This is what we're going to be studying right now. And I need your attention for that. So, um, yes, we're here. And now we move, we move, we scroll, 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 scroll. Over here. I need you to focus at page 48 because here we have how to use code for polite and formal requests de una manera cortés, amable, educada y formal. Could is for formal request. Could you open the door? Okay. And the structure is like this. Could plus subject plus the verb in the base form 
plus the complement in a question mark. The moral verb could is used for polite and formal requests. Examples, could you write these reports, please? Could you deliver these letters today, please? Notice that at the end, we write a comma, and after the comma, we write the word please to make it even more polite, para hacerlo incluso más amigable, más suave, más educadamente. And at the end, a question mark, yes? But on the other hand, we have can is used to ask informal requests. Both are okay, but what is the main difference? That could is polite and formal, but can is informal. Can is um, not so nice. Maybe you with your friends, you can say can, but in an office, it's better to use could. Otherwise, your co-workers are going to be like, mm, you are giving me an order or what? Okay, can is used to ask informal requests. De manera informal, utilizamos can. Can plus the subject plus a verb and the base form plus the complement. Examples, can you write these reports, please? Can you help deliver these letters today, please? Si se fijan, son los mismos ejemplos. The only thing that changes is the modal auxiliary. Could and can. And what happens, class? That in here, it is polite, formal. And here, informal. Esto es más que todo, pues, con alguien que se conoce en el día a día del hablar. But here for... Uh, formal situations, okay, and with respect, respect for people. And what, uh, do you have any question about this structure? Question, doubts about these two structures? No, the difference is clear. Yes? Yes. Okay, so in exercise four, I need you to write five requests that your boss could ask you next week. Van a escribir cinco solicitudes, pedidos que su jefe les podría hacer la próxima semana. Yo voy a escribir lo que me van a pedir. Ya me lo pidieron de antemano y ustedes ya saben lo que es. Ok. I'm going to write mine. Could you um, share the grades report of your group, please. Esto me pedirá el jefe y ustedes saben que me lo van a pedir at midnight on Monday. Could you share the grades report for your group, please? De este grupo me van a pedir las notas el lunes. Yes or no, at midnight. Como probablemente lo van a, I can tell you that it is for certain, okay, es eh, real que me van a pedir esto. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. Ah, another one. Could you administer the uh, satisfaction survey to the students? This is something else that they are going to request for me. From me, could you administer the satisfaction survey to your student, to the students, please? Que les administre el lunes la encuesta de satisfacción también me lo van a pedir. Yes, it is real. Think about what your boss could ask you to do. Okay, five things. I have written two in my case. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Siga, siga, teacher. Bien lo está haciendo. No, this is for me, but your side don't know because it depends. It depends on the nature, but you don't have to administer any survey and you don't have to share the grace report of any group. Yeah. 
So you continue with yours, because later you're going to read yours one by one. Porque luego cada uno va a leer sus requests. Okay, let's do it. This is just an example. And I wrote could because it is from my boss to me. And when I talk to him, I say could, I don't say can. Yeah, and he never says can to me. He always addresses to me saying could. Okay, because it is formal language, the one that we use. Okay, when you are done, you let me know, and then we're going to go over the next activity. Please, 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 please. Finish, Jose Mario Vaquerano Cruz. Thank you, you are volunteering to read your, your five requests that your boss probably could ask you for next week. Okay, let's begin, let's begin, you can do it. No yet. <laughs> Okay, as soon as you are done, you please let me know, okay? You know what your boss requests from you. Ya saben lo que su jefe les pide. Could you please be on time tomorrow? Podría llegar a tiempo mañana, yes or no? Ah, the traffic, the traffic, you say. And then he tells you, could you wake up earlier? Te podría levantar más temprano, yeah? Because there's always a traffic jam. Okay, Marlene, you are done. Okay, would you read yours, miss? Okay, solo en una tengo de ahí, me corrige en la serie en la tercera. La primera sería, could you came to work two extra hours? Could you come? Could you come? Could you come? Mm -hmm. Come. Yeah, because the verb is in the base form. El verbo va en la forma natural, en la base. Uh -huh. okay. The second, could you teach the menu at the new co-worker? At new yeah. co-worker? Uh -huh. Excellent. Could you make it? Could you make the daily finally report? Could you make the final report? Okay, okay. Could you clean the office? Okay. Could you, could you talk to the important clients? Very well done. Excellent. Let's listen to Carlos Miguel and later Jose Mario because he's ra he raised his hand. Okay, Carlos. Hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, can you write the grade for second period? Um, can you back for the material class? Uh, can you read the? Can you read new rules work for company? Uh, can you study the new program for seminary? Um, can you inscribe in the new capacitation? Could you register? Could you ah. register in the new training? Register, register, okay. Register in the new training. And your boss uses with you formal and informal language, Carlos. Um, repeat. Your boss uses formal and informal language with you. Mm. <laughs> bueno, depende de la <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, because, because I could perceive that your sentences, some of them are using could and some others using can. That is why mm. I was asking. Okay. Thank you, but thank you so much for sharing. Okay. 
Uh, who else is done? Yo se la debía. Okay. Pay them. Pay them. Páguelas porque la debía. Uh -huh. Would you give me the report of the, the businessman, the Sonsonate? Could you read me the approval memo? Uh, could you could, could you serve entrepreneurs? Entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Okay, thank you. So, Great, excellent. Okay, now I think that uh, everybody is ready, right? All of you are, yes? Uh, how do you say proveedores? Supplier. Supplier, okay. Okay, and uh, finish. Okay, read right. yours. Could you make an invoice? Invoice. Invoice, okay. Could you go to BMT? Could you organize a meeting for the employees? Could you pay supply? The suppliers. The suppliers. And could you make checks? Very well, congrats. Excellent. Now listen, I'm going to transfer you for five minutes so you read your sentences to your partners, okay? Because here, I don't know why some of you are shy and don't like to read, but you should be reading, okay? So right now I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and you read your sentences to your partners, okay? Here we go. Open your eyes, I'm going to send you the invitations. Everybody reads the sentences, the polite request. Your boss could ask you next week. Okay, go to your groups. I sent you the invitation, please. Join your groups. Carlos, go to group number one, Jose Mejia. Join your group, Jose Mejia. Jose Mejia, join your group, please. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Estas, sí. Call you right, a uh, teacher. Uh, I have a question. Uh, la diferencia entre call y could, can. Could. 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 Uh -huh. Could. Sería. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Could. Y, y can uh -huh. eh, mencionaba de que uno era más cortés que el otro. Decía. Correcto. Acá está. Uh -huh. Ajá. Eh, Usted okay. usa can. Para situaciones informales. Ajá. Ok. Entonces, eh, en todo caso, cualquier situación que sea laboral eh, eh, entraría en contexto el cool. Preferiblemente, pero como en ocasiones se utiliza el lenguaje eh, más de confianza, menos formal, se puede utilizar can. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Por eso le decía que si usa su jefe con usted, lenguaje informal, y usted me dijo en ocasiones, depende. Entonces, uh -huh. sí se podría, pero en el entender que can es menos formal que could. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Ok, continue sharing. Ok. Um, hay que leer las otras de verdad aquí. Uh -huh. Sí, cada quien tiene que leerla. Usted ya leyó oh. las suyas. Okay, cada entonces, quien no, comparte, <ríe> cada quien que comparte a nosotros. Ok. Suya. Sí, son las que había. Ah, usted, hecho. Juan Ezequiel, va. Ahí está confundido. Uh -huh. <ríe> Daniel, mira, Daniel. Daniela no. Ezequiel. Ajá. <ríe> Daniel, puede leer usted las suyas ahí si las tiene. Bueno, call you send report every day. 
call you chief inventory. The chair. Hello. <clears throat> Solo con el cubo. Mm, it can be with can too, but remember that can is less formal. Recuerde que can es menos formal. Es como para amigos lo que explicaba usted. O alguien sí, de, de... o depende del trato que tenga con su jefe. Sí. Porque incluso hay, hay jefes que, que no, no le llaman a usted, sino lo, lo vocean, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Sí, Vos entonces, de, ajá, depende, entonces. Ahí por eso Carlos escribía con could y can. Y él decía, dependiendo de cómo sea el humor, me, ¿verdad? El lenguaje que usa el jefe, por eso usaba lenguaje muy formal, could. Ok. Y menos formal, can. Ok. Okay, okay, begin sharing. Comiencen a compartir. Time flies. Pero cuando le pido un reporte, cold, cool. Oh. Es que cuando vino, ya vino la teacher se me olvidó el inglés ahorita. Pero es que no es lo que usted le va a mandar al jefe, es lo que el jefe le manda a usted. <ríe> Ah, send. <risa> send the, the boss. Okay. <risa> ¿Por qué, teacher? Oh. No, le como... <risa> ¿Qué ha sido así? No, porque es lo que Ivani acaba de decir. Ok, que, que el jefe le va a mandar a usted, usted no le va a ordenar al jefe. El jefe no. le va a ordenar a usted. Sí. Es que a veces le digo que me haga una, una tacita de café y a veces yo se la hago, entonces él me hace una taza de café a mí a veces también. Oh, ok. <risa> so, it is, they use really? informal language. Ustedes really? usan lenguaje informal. ¿Ya? Yeah. Mm, no, mm, ok. <risa> Pero voy a utilizar el cool porque nunca le he utilizado el cool así. No, no sabía. Porque... But it is could when you say the Ooh. word you forget about l it is voiceless no se pronuncia could y la o tampoco c u d could that is the pronunciation could. okay could could, could. you could. oh yes that's it could, could. Mm -hmm. okay okay could. continue okay entonces could ajá uh -huh. Yes. Hi, teacher. Hi. Could you write the report, please? Y el question mark. Could you drive the car these these days? Porque these es plural. Entonces tiene que ser days. Y en days. todas tiene que ir el please, porque es polite request. Es que el teclado no me sirve. And, and a question mark at the end, ok? Tienes que okay. reportarlo con... Are you with the IT? Yeah. <laughs> with the <tech> support. <laughs> the keyboard seems uh, to be broken. Or it seems that the keyboard doesn't work. Or the mouse, they say. <laughs> Name it on somebody, something else or somebody else. <laughs> bueno, me parece, mi. Teacher, aprovechando la pregunta, me confundí este, vamos a, la clase termina el lunes o el martes de la otra semana el día lunes porque lunes, como, ¿verdad? sí, vamos a recuperar el día de eh, de la emergencia nacional, ¿verdad? por la tormenta Julia uh -huh. okay. no porque terminaríamos mañana, pero como ese día no lo trabajamos lo recuperamos el día lunes 31, ¿sí? ok, de acuerdo teacher, thank you ya yeah, on November the 1st, you are free. ¿No les han enviado aún la, los documentos para el otro curso? Uh, ya nos enviaron la petición. Vaya, entonces vayan la llenando porque recuerden que si no va a quedar fuera, ¿verdad? O con otro grupo y esperan a que se llene el otro grupo. Ya no, se les olvidó. 
Qué ya voy. Es que ya voy. se envía a recursos humanos. Ajá. Verifiquen ya. el recursos humanos. Ya voy a hablar con mi, con mi secretaria. Ajá. Uh -huh. You're going to request. <risa> y si no, William, eh, pregunte en, en administración de acá, de, de, de inglés corporativo. Con alguien de los, de los eh, chicos que están en, en el grupo de WhatsApp, de los administradores, ¿ok? Para que le verifiquen si ya enviaron eh, los documentos, ¿de acuerdo, William? Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Sí, más, o menos, más o menos fecha límite para lo, el otro módulo de enviar esta documentación. ¿No les dicen ahí? No, no, no he visto. Vaya, entonces ahí debe ir la información, fecha tentativa. Ok. Ah. Si ustedes lo envían lo más pronto posible, sería de iniciar en, en noviembre y terminar antes de diciembre, antes de, de, de la Navidad. Pero con usted vamos a hacer los 18 módulos. No, no sé. No sé. <risa> no, usually no. they rotate teachers. Teacher rotation is always, you know. Uh, Podemos. Policy Pod in Podemos reunir firmas, Tiche, para que usted esté con nosotros. 18 modos. Vamos a partido político. Oh, yes. Uh, ok. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Hello. Ok, could you, ins uh, no, oh, could you install? Could you, could you install? Acá no debe ir en pasado. Porque, ajá, could you install? Podrías instalar, no. Podrías instalar o no. The new software in the computer, please. Could Instale. you share the uh -huh. install? Uh -huh, that's it. That's correct. Could you could you could share? Could you share? Es que el mouse. Could you share? <laughs> Sirve. Tengo que comprar uh -huh. uno que sea gaming. Solo el se. Uh -huh, el segundo debe de eliminar. You eliminate the second cut. No. No, 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 no. Este. Eh, that's correct, okay. Could you share the result of the last month, please? Okay. Could you visit client these days? These days. Here in number okay. three is yeah, plural. These days, please. Mm -hmm. Could you drive the car these days, please? Could you write the report, please? That's it. That's correct. Very well. Okay. 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 Congratulations. Finally, the mouse and the keyboard worked perfectly. Okay. <laughs> great. Hay que pedirse que le cambie. Dimas, lo puse en inglés. No. Dimas, I recommend. I recommend an optical mouse. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get back. Bye. Bye, teacher. <laughs> Bye, teacher. See you. Let's wait for the others to return and get ready to share your sentences with the class, okay? Okay, class, here we go. Do I have volunteers? From team number one, Carlos Miguel, Clelia, Jonathan, and Jose. Who's going to read the sentences? One participant sharing with the class. Teacher. Yes, be my guest. Um, voy, verdad? Yes. 
Begin, please. Could you visit the Brand Tartaleta? Uh, could you do planning next year? Could you supervise marketing team? Could you send the email to the salt department? And could you finish drink menu? Could you Microphone. finish the, the dream dream Me, menu? Ajá, menu de bebida, ajá. Drinks. Drinks. Uh -huh. Drinks, because dream is el menu de sueño. De ah. tus sueños, yeah, that's why. Okay. Dream. Okay, thank you. Very okay. well done. Excellent. Thank you for sharing. And now the next team, Ana Marlene, Dani, Jose Mario, Juan Ezequiel. Hello. Okay, Hello, Dani. Teacher. Dani. Dani, raise the hand. Thank you. Okay. okay. Could you send records every day? Could you check inventory? Could you print document? Could you make inbox? Could you send inventory? Finish. Juan Ezequiel, you also raise your hand. Do you have different sentences, Juan? Okay, teacher. Could please? you clean the green room, please? Could you check the room for Monday? Uh, could you wait for direction before I leave it? Uh, could you go uh, ask for cleaning material, please? <laughs> Thank you. In the next team, we have uh, Brandon, Carmen, Filomena Luz, and Nilton. Okay, please. Okay. Um, could you go to the warehouse? Could you deliver these checks, please? Can you carry this for me? And could you change my part of work? Okay, thank you. Now let's listen to Edwin, Roberto, Ivania Olmedo, Marlene, or Serafin. No. no. Hi. Okay. Tú, yo, me, tú. <laughs> okay, Edwin. And Serafin says, now that I am open to read, everybody wants to. <laughs> okay, Edwin, go ahead, please. <laughs> okay, teacher. Uh, you call training the yourself. You could start doing overtime. Could you help your partner with the warehouse inventory? Could you raise a new product? You could take this package to the post office. Excellent, thank you so much, great. And now let's listen to David, Emmanuel, Dimas, or William. Hi, teacher. Hi, go ahead, please. Uh, could you prepare, prepare the training for the new staff, please? Could you share the result of last week, please? Could you organize the presentation of the meeting, please? Could you welcome the regional manager, please? Could you test the new computer system, please? Great, excellent, congratulations. <laughs> now we're going to ask some requests, okay? Uh, 
and here we go. I'm going to start. Serafin, could you uh, show yourself onto the class? Could you show yourself onto the class? Show, mm. show. show. I'm showing myself on. We. I'm showing myself on to you. Okay. So could you show, or are you taking the class on the cell phone? Está tomando la clase en el teléfono. Yes. Ah. Okay. Could you? Could you share? Could you show your pencil to the class? Could you show your pencil to the class? No, ¿dónde está el teacher? Pencil. Pencil. Lapis. Yes. Could you show your pencil? Okay. Thank you so much. Now, you, Serafin, you ask one polite request to one partner. Could you show and you say something? Obviously, that they have clothes or they need to stand up and get and show it. Okay. ¿A quién le va a pedir que le muestre algo? Could you show us? ¿Podrías mostrarnos algo que esté cerca o que pueda levantarse y traerlo inmediatamente? For example, a remote scissors or whatever. Uh -huh. Use your imagination, your agenda, your notebook, your manual, whatever. Mouse. Mouse. <laughs> okay, the mouse. mouse. Yeah. The rat. <laughs> okay, so but but the, the request goes to a quien le va a hacer la solicitud, Serafín. Um a Edwin. Perdón, a, a, a David. A David. David. Okay, David, get okay, ready. Serafín. You don't know what he's going to ask you for, okay? Uh, call you, verdad? Sí, con call. Call you, David. Um, um, the auriculars, please. Show us uh, the auriculars. Auriculars. Um, auriculars. From the telephone. Yes. El auricular del teléfono. The the, the the wire phone. Yes. El el alámbrico. Tiene unos audífonos por ahí. Ah, uh, those no. are headphones. Hel Hel headphones. Yeah. Ah, okay, porque si no, así le iba a hacer el ticho. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Es que no, en inglés es más avanzado, no me ibas a entender, oh. entonces. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Now, David Emanuel. Okay, okay. Eh, vamos a ver. Uh, Daniel. Dani. Eh, Daniel, eh... Could you show a, a, a book to the class, please? Uh -huh. Excellent. Very well. Now you, Danny. Do you could? Could you? Could you? Do you could? No, do you know? Could you? Could you? Could you? Uh-huh. Show. Could you show? Uh-huh. Uh, could you show fancy? To whom? A quien uh, le dice? Uh, Carlos Miguel. Carlos? Hello. Could you show a pencil? Um, no, I... Ah. <laughs> no tengo, Eso. no tengo lápiz. No tengo lápiz. A mouse. A mouse. A mouse. Ah, it's my mouse. Okay, great. Now Carlos Miguel, it is your turn. Okay. Um Clelia, could you show me please uh, your bottle of water? Ah, uh, no tengo water. <laughs> 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 okay, um, call me your um, um, your hands. <laughs> Could you show your hands? Okay, great, thank you. Now, listen, class, remember the difference between pencil and pen. 
Yeah, pen. this is a pen and this is a pencil, yeah? Okay, and now let's continue. Thank you so much for using your creativity. <laughs> and here we go. Now the speaking practice. We went through this because in here, role play a meeting with your supervisor. He or she is reviewing the activities plan for this week. Okay, and here we're going to work on this conversation. Okay. Um, do you ever make requests? If so, what kind of requests do you make? So here, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for peeps.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Setting it up, sorry, setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem. Joe, could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an multi page MX hyphen 30, hyphen gun, hyphen 30. Okay, first make sure that the power cord is plugged in, plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. One thing that I need to point is this class, okay? When we pronounce the word could, you don't pronounce these letters. You say could, forget about letter O and letter L. They are voiceless. They are not pronounced when you say could, okay? The same happens with would. Could you help me, please? Could you tell me the model? Can you hold on a second, please? Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? These are very formal requests because you are calling and you are talking to a colleague. You are at work. So the environment is serious. Here we go. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for peeps.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up together. Setting it up. This, this sounds like an R. Setting it up. Setting it up. Setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on? Hold on. Can you hold on a second? Because this is a phrasal verb. These two words go together. Hold on. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an ulti page MX hyphen 30, hyphen 30. Okay, first, Make sure that the power cord is plugged in, plugged in. All right, it is. Can you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Once, una vez que el menú. Okay, appears on the screen, click on complete install. The tray, you know the meaning of the tray? Well, right now the, the, the computers don't have any more the tray where you used to put in the CD. How did we call it in Spanish? Because I forgot the tray. La plataforma, or how did you used to call it? Driver. Driver. Uh -huh. No. 
it is what used to be you used to push and it was out the tray um, i don't remember the name in spanish right now this get era no uh, no 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 because it was the city uh, the, CD okay, the CD, something like that okay it's cd room but it was exactly the tray el, el espacio la plataforma donde se ponía el, el, el cd okay uh, install installation cd is in the tray and third once the menu appears on the screen click on complete install Okay, so you're going to practice this conversation. You switch teacher, roles and you. Teacher, ¿cómo se escribe el, el hyphen? Hyphen. Hyphen. Uh -huh. y ese, pero ese es guión medio o guión bajo los dos hyphen uh -huh. el otro es underscore ah ok uh -huh. Thank you. hyphen Thank you. ok so as I was telling you class right now you're going to practice this conversation <coughs> And you are going to fill in the blanks, okay, using the information in this conversation. Later, you are going to create one conversation similar to this one, but you use your names and you say, hello, this is Ivania from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Ivania, my name is Carlos. I work for pips.com. We received the new, um, the new cell phone and I need help setting it up. Could you help me please? No problem, Carlos. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Uh, can you hold on a second, please? Oh, uh, it's, y le dice el modelo del cell phone. Okay, first, y ahí le dice usted, sure. Make sure that it is charged or you are, okay? Y le da las instrucciones. Pero no vayan a buscar un, un dispositivo que sea very difficult too, okay? It can be a printer, it can be a, what else? A TV, it can be a, what else? A computer, another gadget, a cell phone, yeah. A, a camera. A camera, yes. Uh, and then you make the, uh, you know, the necessary changes in the conversation, okay? And remember, could, Good. So right now, let's go to the breakout rooms and let's get started to practice the conversation, complete the sentences, and later you're going to use your imagination. You're going to start with the production of the language. But before you go to the breakout rooms, I'm going to call your names for the second attendance because I see that. The ones who were left are back. Quien estaba ausente volvieron. Okay, Ana Marlen. Here I am, teacher. Thank you, Ana Veronica. I am. Brandon. Brandon, Brandon, are you here? Okay, great, excellent. Carlos Miguel. Here I am, teacher. Great. Carmen, Carmen, are you here, Carmen? Carmen. She lost the connectivity. Ah, okay, you're here. Present. I saw you. Thank you, Carmen. Clelia? Present. Here. Always here. Thank you, Clelia. Danny? Present, teacher. Thank you, Danny. Um, David? Present. Great. Edwin Roberto, are you here? No. Present, oh, yes, you're back. Ivania? Present. ¿Quién es Carolina de Hospital? Jonathan. Here I am. Great. José Dimas. Present. Okay.
Jose Manuel. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Juan. Present teacher. Marlene. Me, me saltó teacher. teacher. No, es que hay algunos que ya no, ya no, ya no, hasta que me reclaman. Okay, hey. José Mario, no, I have you here. Okay. Uh, Marlin, no, I am really concerned about Jenny's Caroline because she's at the hospital with her baby boy. He's sick, okay, and he's, she's in the emergency room. So I was thinking about her. Uh, okay, Jose Mario is here. Juan, es que después de, de José Manuel en la lista aparece José Mario y Juan Ezequiel y aún no llegaba. Hmm. Ok, uh, José Mario is here. Juan, Juan Ezequiel is here. Marlin is here. Ya. Yeah. Marlin, are you here? Yes, she is. Nilton, over here. Uh, Serafín. Rafin, are you here? Mira, bien, Miss. Hola, perdón, teacher, tenía una llamada de mi familia. Ok, Marlene, but you're here. Sí, Thank tengo you. problema con el internet. But you're here, no problem. Filomena Luz, here. Present, teacher. And Carmen is here. You're back, Carmen. I was thinking about you. Ok. Thank you. Blanca absent today. Alejandra Michelle, not even a moment today. Okay. And Noah is absent. William. Present. Thank you. You were about to say teacher, my name, but you're always here. Okay. Thank you, William. Okay, class. Now let's get ready to go to the groups. Ah. Okay. Hola, Yo. teacher. Hello, Marlene. Now we're going to work in groups, Marlene, okay? I'm going to send you the invitation. Este, me yes? voy a desconectar, fíjese que me acaban de llamar que acaba de fallecer un familiar. Tengo que avisarle a mis hermanas. My condolences, mis condolencias. Ok, gracias por avisar y quedó ahí en el reporte que la razón, ok. Lamentamos mucho su pérdida, ok. So sorry for your loss. Ok, Marlene, okay. thank you for telling us. Now class, let's continue with the activity. Okay. I sent you the invitation, people. Please join your groups and begin with the activity. Juan, I need you in your group. Jose Mejia, I need you in your group. Uy, si aquí puedo crear otro equipo yo. Brandon. Brandon, uh, go to group number three. Yes. Blanca, Blanca Delgado. I was calling your name. Blanca, go to group number three. Ana Verónica. And Ana Marlene. Okay, Marlene, go to group number four. And... Veronica, go to group number five, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, great. Join your groups. Brandon, I need you in group number three. And Blanca Delgado, I need you in group number three, two. Blanqui, Blanqui, go to group number three. Blanca, Blanca Delgado. Hola, teacher. I need you. 
eh, la necesito en el equipo. Hola. Eh, Blanqui, la necesito Hola. en su equipo. Hola, Blanca, no me escucha. Sí, chévere, pero a mí no me ha caído el mensaje. Este, el... Pero yo se los envié si ahí están. Lo que pasa es que no estaban atentos. Vaya, los voy a enviar a otro equipo y luego los regreso a esto. ¿Ok, Brando? No, lo que pasa es que voy manejando. No, por eso. Ok, Brando. Sí, la es. Yo okay. creo que es mi señal, Richard, por eso que Ok, no Brando, Brando, lo voy a enviar Hola. a un equipo y luego lo regreso a este equipo donde necesito gente, ¿de acuerdo? Lo voy a enviar okay. al equipo 2, Brando. Okay, ¿Y usted, sí, sí. Nilton, por qué? Ay, Nilton, usted estaba afuera. Hola. Sí, la conexión. Ok, okay. go to group number three. I'm going to send you the invitation, Nilton. Ajá, Blanqui, cuénteme. Blanqui, do you listen to me? Sí, aquí estoy. ¿Me escucha, teacher? Sí, la escucho. Hello. La escucho, Blanqui. Hola. Hola. Hola, ¿me escucha? Es que voy, oh. man voy, man oh. sí, voy manejando, teacher. Estoy de como de oyente. Es ah. como estamos en inventario en, el, en la planta. Sal, en el trabajo salí bien noche, ahorita voy manejando todavía para la casa, pero voy como... Estaba como oyente. Oyente. Sí, le, le decía por la asistencia. Bueno, entonces la voy a asignar a un equipo. Sí, voy para... Voy para... Vaya, ok. Ok. Thank okay. you. Thank okay. you. We receive the new printer and, and I need help setting it up. It up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Could, could you help me, please? Uh, no problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Well, let me check. Uh, can you hold on a second, please? Ooh, it's an ulti place. NX hyphen two. The menu on the screen, click on complete installs. Okay. Ezequiel, ¿estás por ahí? Juan Ezequiel, are you here? Yes or not? Ezequiel Juan. Rivera Lemus, are you here? Hola. Ok. And now? Ezequiel, hello, it's Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Jose Max. Hi, Max. My name is Joy. I work for Petscom. We recite the new printer and I need help setting. Second, check it out the installation CD in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Excellent, excellent. Ustedes como que están en un call center, ya vi. Yo sí, pero de español. <risa> ok. Ahí tendríamos que completar la... Two roles, ¿cómo? Y lo vamos a contestar. Everybody okay. read. Ya practicaron todos. Yes, teacher. Y e, e intercambiaron roles. Eso nos falta, no. teacher. No ah, lo vamos a mentir. Ok, okay. Va. okay. Go over the completion and later you switch roles. Okay. 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 Oh. Okay. 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 Nosotros queremos, estamos aquí construyendo los asuntos, eh, hablamos de un teléfono. 
este, digamos que es el iPhone 12, tratándose de cosas de, de, digamos, de ese tipo de modelos. Tiene que ser literal, que sí. literal. Ah, es literal. Sí, porque es una descripción, 12. sí. Ah, yo pensé que iba a decir este, 12 iPhone, pero no es iPhone 12. Ok. Ajá, iPhone 12, pero da ajá. las características. Ajá. Exacto, okay. porque, ajá, ajá, porque a pesar de que es un modelo, pero cada uno de ellos lleva códigos diferentes. Ambas ahí tenemos ¿Sí? que indagar, digamos. Sí, okay. así es, ah, yeah. use your imagination. Ok, este, David, entonces, ¿qué teléfono tomamos? Eh, yo voy a tomar el, el mío, o sea, usted puede decir el modelo suyo, no, pues sí. El, el, el mío es este. O oh, uh, a computer. Es, es Mar, Mar, The Mar model. Peter. Uh -huh. Pero, pero deben saber el modelo, ¿verdad? Las características del modelo. Voy a hacerlo con la computadora eh. yo. Ok, ahí. great. Ok, ok. My, 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 cell phone is, my cell phone is Mar Peter, marca pajarito. Eso no se puede decir así, ¿verdad? Dicho. No, brand, no. brand, brand es marca, brand. B, ah, brand. B, 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 R, A, N, D, brand, en la marca, brand. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, Caso de novio. Una otra cosa. Eh, Clelia, hello, this is Carlos from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Carlos. My name is Clelia. I work for peps.com. We receive the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, eh, Clelia. Eh, could you tell me the model? Let's check. Can you call on the second, please? With uh, Ultipage, Ultipage MX-21. Okay, first. Uh, make sure that the, the USB cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to to do next, please? Uh, second check that the CD installation that the installation CD is in the try and fails once uh, once the menu appears on the screen. Click on complete install. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Hello, this is. This is Kelly from the test support. How can I help? Uh, hi, Clelia. My name is Carlos. I work for pips.com. We received the new camera and I need help setting up. Setting up. Uh, could you help me, please? No problem, Carlos. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's um next next three, uh, next three. Okay, first make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it's called. You tell me what I need to do next, please. Second, second, check that the installation CD is in the tray and tire once the menu appears on the screen. Click a complete install. Okay. Next. Jose. Okay. Jose Mejia. Okay. Go on. Tu, tu, tu primero. Okay. okay. Hello, this is um, Jose from Tech Support. Uh, how can I help you? Hi, Jose. My name is Carlos. I work for pips.com. Uh, we receive the new camera. And I am need help setting up. Uh, could you help me, please? Uh, no problem, Carlos. Could you tell me the model? Uh, let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Ooh, it's uh, next three. Next three. 
Okay, Fritz, and uh, make sure that the power core is plugging in. Um, all right, it's called you tell me what I need to do next, please. Uh, make uh, it, uh, sure. Well, no. Ah, <laughs> Second, check uh, that the installation CD is in the right. Um, two, once the menu opens of the screen, click on complete install. Okay, hoy empiezo yo, verdad? Sí, verdad? Sí, sí, correcto. Uh, hello, this is Carlos from Tech Support. How can I help you? Uh, hi, Carlos. My name is Jose. I work for uh, Pex.com. Uh, we recite the new uh, printer and I need help setting it up. It up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Jose. Can you tell me the model? Let me check. Uh, can you hold on a second, please? We have multi planes and X hyphen 24. Okay, first make sure that the USB cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Uh, could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, second, share that the installation CD is in the tribe. And thirds, once uh, the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay. Okay, finish. Con Clelia creo que vas. Finish. Clelia? Hello. Okay. Hello, this is Jose from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Jose. My name is Clelia. I work for Pips that come we received the new printer and i need help setting it up could you help me please uh, no problem clelia uh, could you tell me the model let me check can you hold on a second please who oh, it's um samsung galaxy galaxy 21 okay okay freeze man make sure that the power core is plugging in. All right, it, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check uh, that the installation CD is in the right. Um, three, watch the menu uppers of the screen. Click on complete install. Okay. okay. Cambiamos, ya no. ¿Te gusta la última? Cambiamos ella okay. para cerrar con broche de oro. Bueno. <risa> broche, broche de oro, golden touch. Ah. A, ok, let's uh, read the last time as a golden touch. Golden touch. Golden okay. touch. Close on the golden uh, touch. Hello, this is Elia from Test Support. How can I help you? Uh, hi, Clelia. Hi, did teacher. you finish? Did you finish the practice? Yes, teacher. Did a uh, Brandon practice? Yes, teacher. Mm. Yes, teacher. Okay, and Danny too. Yes. Yes. Mm. Uh, did you complete the sentences? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you create your own sentence, your own conversation? Crearon su propia conversación. Ah, oh, okay. Le cambiamos los nombres. <laughs> <laughs> Very creative. Okay, let's get back to the main session room. Thank you for the practice. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, here we go. 
and let's see. Figure it out. Exercise three, fill in the blanks. Use the conversation about to help yourself. Which are class, according to you, the missing words over here. You tell me what model is, what the model is. Can or could? Could. Could. Could you tell me what the model is? Podría decirme cuál es el modelo? And number two, you describe the problem, please. Cool. 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 Could you describe the problem, please? This is another way to ask, okay? Take support, okay? What is it? It's an informal way. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué sucede? Okay. Uh, or could you describe the problem, please? It is another way to uh, express it. Remember here, could, could. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Alti page. Could you tell me what I need to do next? What I need to do next? Okay. Tech support, not tech support, no. Tech support. How can I help you? How can I help you? My name is Joey. I work for pips.com, pips.com, okay? And I was listening to you. You had a great practice or a practice. Congratulations, class. And right now I have two to say one of you, okay, where will Wilfredo, tell me your, your last name, otherwise the minutes are going to be for somebody else. Wilfredo? Wilfredo, your last name? I, William, it is not Wilfredo, it is William Francisco. Ain't nobody told me, Will. The new well, guys. Always, yeah. You see it on the blog. <laughs> Ay, es que miren, teniendo tantos estudiantes ahí. William Francisco. Francisco Flores, yes. William Francisco Flores, that's it. And nobody told me, shame on you, class. Okay, so let me see where is this, okay, here. Ivania, please stay with me for a while after class, please. Okay, okay <laughs> thank you. And for the rest of you, hey, I need you to update your works in the platform, okay? Necesito que actualicen algunos las tareas en la plataforma y el examen final para alguno como uh, Carlos, Edwin, Roberto, mm, let me see who else, eh, Filomena, and others, congratulations, because they are done, but some others are still working on it, okay? So I expect that you finish by Saturday, because on Monday, everything must be done, okay? So I appreciate your attendance. Thank you so very much for joining to my class and practice actively in the breakout rooms. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Sleep well, enjoy, relax, and I hope to see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. in class. Bye-bye, have a good night. Happy night, sleep. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Sweet dreams. Bye. bye bye. Take care. Bye 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 bye. Bye bye Blanky. Bye bye Juan. Bye bye Brandon. Bye bye David. Okay. Bye guys. Bye bye. Bye, bye Blanky. Bye Brandon. Now they don't want to leave. Okay, we're waiting for you to leave the room. Estamos esperando que retiren del salón, David and Brandon. Ay, good night, teacher. Have a good night. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
siempre haces lo mismo, dos o tres se quedan estoy, siempre. Es que, es que estoy en reunión, dije, por eso. Ah, ok, 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 bye, take care. Bye, David. Ay, no. Ok, let's begin, miss. Let's practice speaking. Practiquemos speaking, miss. Ok, here we go. Ok. Could you please read this conversation, miss? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pit.com. We receive the new printer and I need help setting up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Could you hold on a second, please? Oh, uh, it's an ulti page MX hyphen Terry. Okay, first, make sure that the power core is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay, and finally, I remember it's in the tray in la bandeja. Oh, okay, in porque, the tray. Ajá, ajá, es que tenían antes las laptops, ¿verdad? Ah, las computadoras, okay. ahora ya no, ya no se usa eso, sí. It is kind of old fashioned, but it used to be about five years ago and, okay. Now they are kind of old fashioned computers, but here, okay, okay. Let's practice this one. Mm -hmm. okay. Would you please? Okay. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Okay, great. The only thing is here. Yes, it says, forget about why. It says. Yes. Uh -huh, okay. It says service. That is the only thing. Okay. And over here, yeah, because in grammar, I think you don't have a problem. Okay, this conversation. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is this, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, great, very well. Now there was no problem at all. And what about this one, okay? Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing this day? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England this day. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Great, well. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. 
Excellent, very well. So that's it. And over here, I think no problem, only practicing reading. Okay, here you go. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the AMOL conference these years and where is taking place. Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the gray room. Rita, by the way, where are the materials arriving? Do you know? Go it. yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. Excellent. Okay. Ah, ha, ha, here. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> you have to enjoy. Okay. Todos. <laughs> yes, but take your time, okay? okay. Slowly. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Number one, organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day. Don't you understand? Under, underestimate. Underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss couldn't want those outcomes? Okay, number two, celebrate birthday. You don't just have to really rely, rely on, rely on business gain to boot moral. Simply acknowledging, acknowledging a special occasion can have a big impact. It shows your thing that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sing a car. No, have to sign, to sign. To, to sign a car. Have K once a month or simply buy them a round of coffee each time someone in your team has a birthday. Three, painful. Give your employees an opportunity to lift up some steam by organizing a day of painful. Simple, getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morally. Watch out true. As the boss, you're going to be a prime target. Guess who? Ask, ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to pour their best guest forward on each one. It's a bit of easy life header on that will definitely help lift the spirit while offering plenty of humor along the way. Okay, thank you. Repeat after me, please. Um, here, we're going okay. to focus on some words. Definitely. Definitely. No, definitely. Definitely. Excellent. The stress goes at the beginning in the first uh, uh, syllable. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, there was another one. Uh, which was the other one? Bring, uh, bring, bring, bring. Remember always bring. Here, morale. 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 Uh -huh. Morale. And what is the other one? Ah. Don't get confused. Simple with simply. In this case, is with why simply. Okay. okay. And here, okay. uh huh. 
acknowledging. Repeat after me. Ac acknowledging. Excellent. Very well. Acknowledging. There was one more over here. Oh, no. Bus Morale. And I think that the rest is okay. Congratulations. Only these words, but maybe because you were reading a little bit faster. Okay. And now this conversation between Rose and Mary. I'm going to be Rose and you read Mary. Okay. Let's begin. Okay. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, for example, I am singing some signing, signing. because signing. singing la 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 signing uh -huh. <laughs> signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? Thanks. Ah, that's okay. I am the, I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advance in the company? Peter is analyzing. Analyzing. Yeah. Now let's switch. You are Rose and I am Mary. Okay. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Okay, miss, <laughs> you're going to say, uh, <laughs> I think you don't have problems with grammar, so I decided to focus on reading, yeah? So you can practice reading. Thank you so much for giving me your time. Have a good night, and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Good night, teacher. Have Bye. a good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.